Hi guys, welcome to the third video in this PyATS series. In this video, I'll walk you through the installation process of PyATS in Genie. As we all know, PyATS was designed to provide a reasonable end-to-end -end test environment for users to write network-related test cases by featuring multiple packages and modules. So in order to install PyATS, we need to have Python installed in our system. And the platforms that support PyATS are Linux and macOS X. So in order to have an operating system as Linux, you can either use CentOS, RHEL, Ubuntu, etc. And for Mac OS X, you need to use 10.13 or greater versions of Mac. So we will start the installation process. Here I'm using the Ubuntu OS version 20.04. First, you would need to go to this page, which will be provided in the description box. This document holds the step-by-step -step procedure for the installation. So in order to install PyATS, firstly, we need to install the virtual environment. In order to install virtual environment, you need to have Python installed. So as I mentioned earlier, you need to have any of these versions. In order, so let us go to our terminal. So right now, my Python version. So this is my Python version. I'm running on Python 3. If you just go through again, so in order, we need to create a virtual environment. In order to create a virtual environment, we need to create an empty directory called PyATS in our terminal. Let us go to our terminal. Yeah. So here we are creating a directory called PyATS. Getting into the directory. So, once we create the directory, we need to initialize our virtual environment. So, we have Python 3 installed. We need to create, initialize this virtual environment with this command line, python3 hyphen mvnv. Please ensure you use dot towards the end. Then, we do source bin activate. So we have all the packages here. So if we do source bin activate, so this is the PyATS installed. So the system displays this parenthesis. So this py parenthesis display that you see, that means that you are in your PyATS ENV. So in order to come out of this environment, you can just say deactivate. So see you have come back from that prompt. So you're not in PyATS prompt anymore. So once after actu activating the virtual environment, so now we have our uh, virtual environment ready. So here we need to perform pip install of all the setup tools. So these are the, this is the command line to install the setup tools. So once this is successfully installed, you see there are multiple commands listed out here in order to install the PyATS library. Uh, currently, we are looking at installing the entire uh, full PyATS uh, packages. So it is pip install PyATS full. If you want to use uh, you know, PyATS in a robot framework, robot framework package, even you can use pip install PyATS as a robot. Or if you want to use a template command, you can use pip install PyATS template and see all these are the different options that you get to install PyATS. So here PyATS are, is getting installed. I just give it a few minutes for it, for it to get installed. So all these are PyATS packages. You see PyATS TCL, PyATS async, all these are the packages that are getting installed. So since we are doing pip install PyATS full package here, both Genie packages and Genie packages as well as 
the priorities packages would be part of your pip list if i just do pip list you can see all my packages listed here all my these are my priorities packages with its version and these are my genie packages if you see here all these are my genie packages listed out here so once the installation is done once you are in the PyATS environment, so you have a PyATS, you have a sourced PyATS, right? So uh, as we saw all the packages, uh, so right now in order to verify if PyATS is installed fine, we need to, uh, so this is one repository that is provided. So if I use this command, so before using this, uh, if you don't have git in your system, so this is the command that you use to install git sudo apt get install git all so if you do this you will be installing the git and you can do or perform all git operations currently i'm i've already installed git so i will not be doing this so i'm just cloning the the example the link that was that is provided in this uh, uh, in this page so once i download the folder so this is the example folder so once installation process is done if if in future if you want to upgrade your enb uh you, you need in order to upgrade your pyats so we need to when uh, uh, do it using this command line so you can check your current version if it is matching so if we're going to terminal so this is my current version so 23.9 is my current version you see all the packages that are installed for pi ATS, right so similarly if you want to update so we will be uh, there will be new releases for pi ATS. right now it's on 23.9 so if you just do pi ATS version update so it will fetch all the latest package list and it will just check if you still want to continue just say yes so what this will do is it will uninstall all your all your existing packages and install all the new packages with the latest version. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this helpful, please like, share it with your friends and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you.